Hi guys, it's Lewis Fitch here, and I just want to talk to you about my previous video, which was about the YouTube copyright issue that I couldn't put it on there because I had a song on. And I think that's totally stupid, YouTube should get rid of that immediately because they're going to lose lots of people because of it. And I just want to start off on that point, so, and I'm going to be... In a minute I'm going to be showing you Marvin, and I know lots of you are asking how much did the snakes cost, what cost, where did you get them, how much does a vivarium cost, how much does the whole set cost, and I'll be telling you all about that and everything, and it's just going to be about Marvin, and the last video was just about Rosie, but I couldn't really do that, but I guess that has to count, so here he is. Here he is, Marvin. Now, obviously, everybody wants to know about my snakes. So, first of all, Marvin is a pastel ball python. He cost about £175. He's a male. Uh, Rosie is a normal ball python. She's a female, obviously and she was only £30. So there's a big difference between them both, but they are very nice indeed. Um, Maintenance-wise, not a lot actually. All you need to do is hold them for about half an hour a day or something. Um, you need to feed them a mouse like once every three or four days. Um, you need a box for them, a plastic box or vivarium if they're, if they're quite big. Or, and you need some bark, uh, one hide or two hides, a water bowl if needed, maybe a mister for humidity, and that's all you really need. And all that costs around forty quid or thirty, forty quid. So it's quite a lot of money, but in the end, it's, it's worth it because they last for about thirty years. These snakes, so that's a good thing, obviously. Um, also about Godzilla. Now he costs he cost about fifty or sixty quid. He did. I think, actually, no, I think it was seventy five quid. And um, all he needed was uh, a vivarium, which was about ninety quid for the vivarium tank. Uh, the gravel was about a ten twenty quid, something like that. All of it cost around one hundred and fifty quid. So it was about two hundred and fifty, three hundred quid. Um, so there you go guys, everybody wants to know where I got the snakes from I got Marvin from a Maidstone Expo um, I'll put a website in the link in my, my description to the right of this video and it will be called the bigyellowgecko.co.uk now this is only for Britain, this isn't for America because there's not a lot of expos in Britain and it's usually held in Maidstone or in Ware so my, my link is in my description and um, yeah well, I got Marvin from Maidstone and I got Rosie from in from Ware where I live obviously is in Ware in a hall somewhere um, and that's pretty much it so everybody that's just pretty much the frequently asked questions which everybody keeps asking me all the time in their comments um, I don't think there's anything else except for that Marvin is around his weight now is about 240 grams Rosie is about 300 grams so it's all good and I'm just going to show you something as well, hang on just zoom out hang on a second And as you can see, can you see that? Feeding record for Marvin. Now this is English obviously, so the dates around the other way compared to Americans. So it says hatched, if we just look there, hatched 21st 
of the 7th, which I forget what month that is, hang on a second. July, there we go. So it's 21st of July 2008. And now it's obviously the 17th of January. So he's about half a year old. And you can see down here the dates of what he ate. One fuzzy mouse. And it goes down. See, so as you can see there. And up here he had one yesterday. See the gaps? They're like three, four days gaps. Some are like two day gaps. Some are seven day gaps, which you can see there. And so there you go, that's for Marvin. Okay, put that down. And there's this one, which is Rosie feeding record. And here we go. Hatch day, it was the 30th of June, so about three weeks before Marvin was born. And obviously, here will uh, feed in record. There we go. If we just also, if you could get one of these charts for your snake, it's a lot easier. And I put there 17th cleaned out, so that's when I cleaned out her thing. I just cleaned it out today. So give it about six months and then you clean it all out. Uh, for lizards, about three or four months because you know they they're a bit more high maintenance than snakes. So I'm, with both of the things, I'm just gonna leave you for a couple of seconds with just Marvin. There we go, and I will see you in another video hopefully if YouTube stop copyrighting all my music. So I'll see you later.